this video, I'll show you how you can use managed MongoDB on DigitalOcean to quickly create MongoDB databases starting at $15 a month for a dedicated cluster. Here we are at DigitalOcean.com. I'm going to go into my dashboard and I'll go into the Create a Database UI. Here we can see that we can choose a database engine. We have a choice of MongoDB, Postgres up to version 13, MySQL, Redis. I'm going to go ahead and go with the MongoDB database. And down here under Choose a Cluster Configuration, you can see that the nodes start at the $15 a month plan. We can also add standby nodes, which are optional but we can do two standby nodes for $30 a month. Or if you're just doing a quick database, you don't need any sort of standby nodes for failover or anything like that. We can stick with the $0 a month and keep to the $15 node plan for month. Let's go down here to choosing a data center. You can choose the data center that is closest to you and your customers for the lowest latency and fastest performance. Since I'm in the US, I'll choose New York. And you can also see that I have a droplet in this region, we can definitely connect this MongoDB instance to our droplets or our apps. I'll keep to New York here. Scroll down, we have a default VPC for this database. And down here, we can create a unique database cluster name. So we can say MongoDB is awesome. And down here, we can select a project that this will live in. I only have the single for my personal projects. And I'll go ahead and create a database cluster. All right, and that's all it takes to start up a MongoDB instance on DigitalOcean. And now we just wait for less than five minutes for our database to get spun up and we can start connecting to it and using it. But while we're here and we're waiting for our database to get created, we can go through some quick getting started notes. We'll click Get Started here. We can restrict inbound connections to this database. This is a great way to stay secure to say that only certain sources can connect to this database directly. If you click Search for Sources, you can click your computer's IP address. So I'll do that, and I'll say, let's restrict all connections to this database from this IP address. Allow these inbound sources only. And now we are given the options to connect to this database cluster here. We have our username, password, which I can click this show button and see our password. We have our host, port, database, and a protocol. We also have the option to download our CA certificate here so we can connect securely. I'll go ahead and do that in a bit. Another thing we can do here is go to connection parameters, this dropdown. We can click that. Click connection string instead, and now we can see the connection string, which we can copy and use in any of our applications. We'll click continue here. We also have some information about migrating an existing database, and check it out, our first backup is already working for us. We can restore from this backup, and that's the cool thing about managed MongoDB, is that we get these database backups automatically. We'll say, great, I am done. And now we just wait for the rest. Oh, look at that. Our database is already created and we're ready to connect. So on this overview page, we get our default stuff like database cluster total cost, which is $15 a month, trusted sources, which we can edit, our VPC, and our current version. When MongoDB has upgrades or anything like that, we'll see a button that can quickly say, upgrade MongoDB. We can click it and automatically DigitalOcean will handle the upgrade. Let's go ahead and connect to this database over here on the connection details section right here. I'm going to click connection string. I'm going to click show password. I'll copy all of this right here. And I'll copy, or you can press the little copy button. But also, I want to download our CA certificate. We're going to use this to securely connect to this brand new database. And to connect to this database, I'm going to use a UI tool called MongoDB Compass. And this is a tool you can download from MongoDB. It's a great and quick way to connect to databases. I'll paste in my connection string that I just had. 
but we also need to provide that certificate we just downloaded. So instead of just using this connection string, I'm going to say fill in connection fields individually. So I'll click this button right here. And all of a sudden, all of our stuff from the connection string auto populates to where they are in the input boxes here. So we have our host name, username, password, all that good stuff is automatically imported into this UI. I can click more options to add in my certificate we just downloaded. Under SSL, I'll click server validation. I'll select the file. And this is the brand new certificate we just downloaded. You can see today at 1140, I'll click open. And now we should be able to just click connect and connect directly to that brand new database we just created. Here's our database names. Uh, we have admin config local. We can go ahead and create a database and a collection name and work through that. If I click into local, you can see these are all the things in that local database and these are all the collections. So already we are able to connect to MongoDB. We are able to look through it. We're able to create collections and create records. If I click into one of these, which we probably should create our own, but you can see the records in here and you can add data. You could even import a file. So this is a good way to seed your database with brand new information or you can insert a document directly right here. MongoDB Compass is a great tool to start using and maneuvering around your database. So let's go back to the DigitalOcean dashboard here. Once we start using our database and working with it, we can see that there are these insights, which give us some information about our database, how it's being used, like the CPU usage, like load, memory, disk usage. If I scroll up more, we can go under logs and see what's going on with our database. We have our connection, uh, successful authentication, everything we just did with MongoDB Compass. If I go into users and databases, you can create new users. You can create new databases from this UI. Under settings, we have our cluster configuration, primary only, $15 a month. If we saw that our CPU usage or our disk usage was starting to get up to uncomfortable levels, Let's scale our database. We can go in here and click edit. And we get that node plan, which let's up that to $30 a month. And then also let's make sure that we do two standby nodes there. Let's click save here and DigitalOcean will go ahead and handle all of the updates for this database to scale it up to the size that we want. All in all, that's how we are able to create a database with a very simple UI on DigitalOcean. We were able to connect to it using the connection string and the CA certificate. We were able to see insights and logs. And we were also able to resize it based on our needs for growing and scaling up our database. All in all, MongoDB on DigitalOcean is a great resource and a great tool to have, especially when you pair it with DigitalOcean's simplicity and ease of use.